Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. In today's video, we are unboxing and taking a first look at the book cover keyboard slim for the Galaxy Tab S9. We're also going to be doing some quick comparisons to the outdoor cover that's available to the Tab S9. All right, without any further delay, let's go ahead and get it unboxed. All right, we've got it unboxed and you're looking at everything right here. So there's no pamphlets or anything in the box at all. So we got the Tab S9 sitting next to it. And uh, I went ahead and played around with this for a little bit. I'll tell you what, I'm pretty impressed with this. So I am used to having the full on book cover keyboard, the one with the uh, stand on the back. Here, let me grab the Ultra. Hopefully it's in frame there. Not sure because I'm using it as my viewfinder. But uh, you know, this is uh, quite a bit bigger, obviously, like if we fold this in half, there you go. It takes up a much bigger footprint like in my office sitting at my desk. You know, it is nice to have the touchpad on here, but to be quite honest about it, I actually prefer using my Logitech uh, MX Master 3S over anything anyway. So this isn't a big deal for me not having it. So let me show you how easy it is to put this on. I'm really impressed with the build quality. All you do is you grab your tablet, just slap that on the back there, right? And we grab the S Pen and it has the same type of uh, back cover here as the full on book cover keyboard, which is awesome. And remember for this year, you can put the pen in either direction. So we just close that down, just lift the tablet up and then it's going to go right here. We have our connecting pins right in the middle with a very strong magnet going across here. Put that just like that. Oh yeah, look how portable that is. It's so cute. It is, you know, you get more screen than keyboard. Hopefully that's showing up in view here. Let me turn the screen back on so there's some contrast, right? All right, so there's a screen. That's what it looks like with the keyboard. And here's this part here. Another thing that's really cool that I've noticed, and uh, again, keep in mind, this is my first time using one of the, uh, you know, non-full-on book cover keyboards. This one that sits here and rests on its own without the touchpad. I noticed, thank goodness, and when you fold this backwards, it disables the keyboard. I can go back here and touch all I want. It doesn't do anything. So this is great for when you're wanting to sit at the couch, right? That's what, that was my biggest concern with this whole case here. I was like, oh man, what's it going to be like when you fold that thing around and you want to sit with it? And actually, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So you flip this around here. Here's what it looks like, fully closed up. You can see here this year, I don't know if this is going to show up in frame. Yeah, it is. We have a real flat book style type look to it. Um, on last year's here, let me grab this real quick. When you fold this up, it has like a rounded look to it. More round than not, you know? Another thing that I'm really liking about this bad boy is the key travel and the overall key responsiveness. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to leave the screen locked so I'm not actually typing. Just listen to this. A lot of travel. It feels really responsive. I thought I wouldn't be able to use this thing with it being so small. Uh, quite the opposite. It's quite usable. So the keyboard travel, like we'll compare it to last year's too. This might come up, and we're gonna weigh these things real quick, right? We wanna see how much this weighs down your tablet. So like if we get on this one for a little bit, you know, it's not bad, but it just doesn't feel the same. I don't know, I like it. I like the new one more. I should also point out the retail price on this is 140. I think I got mine for like 70 during the pre-order time. Uh, so it's a little bit pricey. I'd probably wait for it to go on sale, but all in all, pretty awesome keyboard cover. Let's see how much this thing weighs. Let's get this keyboard cover by itself, see how much this weighs, and throw it on the scale. Looks like 283 grams, 10 ounces. That's a pretty hefty case there. Let's go ahead and compare this real quick to the outdoor cover case. 262 grams, and what I say for the other one? 283, I think. 283, so if you're looking for the lightest tablet experience possible with the Samsung case, looks like you're probably gonna to wanna to go with the outdoor case, at least out of these two options. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed with this. You know, it's got this nice pleatherette material. I really like that our S Pen is secure because once you leave an S Pen out in the wild, it's gone, you know? So I think this is a really great option. I'll do a complete tutorial pretty soon on how to get the most out of this keyboard here. But if you have any questions or comments, please drop it down in the comments section below. I appreciate your time. And as always, thanks for watching.